Hello guys, this is Dr. Mora again with some case review and today we have this case in which it's not a complex case but I want to show you the staging that I perform in the anterior teeth because I always like to perform a sequential movements either I'm working posterior or anterior segment my staging is always sequentially I try not to move all of the teeth at the same time maybe I can do some proclination from the beginning uh, of the anterior teeth uh, to create some space and then maybe some round tripping as you can see on this tooth how I'm creating some round tripping to push forward before uh, bringing bring this uh, anterior um, anterior teeth back to create some space before derotating this tooth I derotate that tooth and then I bring back the other one and also for the canines, one specific protocol that I have is when I expand posterior teeth, I always st start, if it's possible, aligning or expanding the canine so, I'm, so I can create some space in the four anterior teeth, which is most commonly where we have some crowding. So you see, we pull out the canines, then we go with the lateral incisors, creating space for each tooth to derotate. So in this way, we avoid interdental collisions, interproximal collisions during the treatment plan. So let's play this uh, simulation to see how I plan the, the movement. So we expand the canines and then sequential movements for the laterals. So I'm round tripping of this uh, incisor and then I bring it back. And as always, you can see my posterior protocol of expansion, expansion from four to six, desaline rotation of seven and some slight retraction, very slight retraction. You can see some slight retraction to create that beautiful arch form that we're looking for. So in the upper arch as well, we always create some sequential movement and making the movements, you can see creating space. First, the canine, like I said before, is, one, is the protocol that I always use. I don't move all of the teeth at the same time. And you can see this is not a complex or very long case. Uh, staging sometimes doesn't mean that you're going to have some um, huge cases, but you're going to have more predictable cases and less refinement. If re you can avoid refinements, but they're not bad. Sometimes uh, we need the refinements. And obviously uh, some good bite ramps uh, to intrude the anterior teeth and to level the curve speed. You can see an overcorrection of the curve speed. Uh, a little bit more intruded the anterior segment and more extruded the posterior teeth and attachment as well to create that good extrusion. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. If you like this video, please follow me on social media and on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.